Hey everyone, welcome back to Immortal News. Today we're taking a look at the lives of some remarkable people who recently passed away. We also have an update on everyone's favorite, Kate Middleton. We also have a sad update regarding Gary Sinise. As always at Immortal News, we want to remember those who've made a difference. If their stories hit you in the feels, give the video a thumbs up. Let's share some respect and remember the amazing people we've lost. Number 9. Dan Wilcox, the Emmy-winning writer and producer who passed away at 82, leaves behind a legacy of laughter and powerful storytelling. This New York native spent six decades shaping the small screen, contributing to shows like M.A.S.H., Sesame Street, and Roots, The Next Generations. Wilcox's humor had a unique spark, ignited by his uncle Jed Harris. He found his early footing in children's television with Captain Kangaroo, paving the way for his iconic work. His talent and versatility shined through his 1970 Emmy win for Sesame Street and the shared 1980 WGA award for outstanding episodic comedy with his partner Thad Mumford. Beyond the awards, Wilcox's voice resonated through his dedication to the Writers Guild. He received the prestigious Morgan Cox Award in 2017 for being a champion for those who couldn't speak for themselves. As WGA West President Howard A. Rodman said, Wilcox was a passionate advocate for stories both on screen and through his mentorship of aspiring writers. His impact extended beyond Hollywood, touching lives as a professor at Arizona State University. We remember Dan Wilcox not just for his contributions to television, but for the positive impact he had on countless individuals. He's survived by his wife, actress Leslie Easterbrook, his sister Nina, and nieces Julie and Wendy. They, along with the entertainment industry, will cherish his memory. Tributes to Dan Wilcox. Number 8. Linda Gravitt, a total theater legend, passed away at 76. This Harlem-born powerhouse could do it all, from funny to deep, and audiences loved seeing her magic in shows like 45 Seconds from Broadway and Doubt. She even earned big awards like a Theater World trophy, showing how important she was to the theater scene. Linda always loved performing, even as a kid. She even performed on Broadway and at Carnegie Hall, wowing everyone. She honed her skills at Howard University and ended up having a killer career, even teaching and inspiring future stars. But her talents weren't just for the stage, she also rocked it on TV and in movies, leaving her mark on the entire entertainment world. And guess what? She wasn't just amazing at acting, she was also super loved by everyone in the industry. Even Oscar-winning Viola Davis adored her, showing just how much respect and love she had. Linda's life was all about her passion for the arts and her never-give-up attitude. We're celebrating her incredible and inspiring career, even though her absence will leave a big hole in the theater world. We'll miss her dearly. Tributes to Linda Gravitt. Number 7. Quinn Kessler, a blazing star in the rodeo heavens, passed away at the young age of 30 on February 26, leaving behind a legacy that will live on in the hearts of all who admired him. Hailing from the rough terrain of Holden, Utah, he rose as a shining star in the rodeo arena, engraving his name in the annals of Wrangler National Finals rodeo history not once but three times. His career highlights include partnering with Matt Sherwood in 2016 when they earned victories in record time, and again in 2018 with Ren Richard, demonstrating his unwavering commitment and talent. His final NFR qualifier in 2021, alongside Joseph Harrison, cemented his place in rodeo history. His accomplishments stretched beyond the NFR to the Wilderness Circuit and the Ram National Circuit Finals Rodeo, where he earned a total of $615,025 over his career. Before turning professional, he won three Utah State Team Roping Championships and qualified for the National High School Finals Rodeo four times. He leaves behind his wife Jessie and their daughter Quincy, as well as a legacy that will inspire and be remembered by the rodeo community. Tributes have come in for Quinn Kessler, 
highlighting his impact on the sport and the lives of people around him. His commitment, achievements, and memories will be remembered and appreciated by fans, friends, and family. Tributes to Quinn Kessler. Number 6. E. Duke Vincent, a renowned writer and producer who helped establish television's golden age alongside Aaron Spelling, passed away at the age of 91 in his Montecito, California home. His career, which included extensive collaborations with Spelling, helped to create legendary shows such as Dynasty, Beverly Hills, Charmed, Seventh Heaven, and Melrose Place. His career is also defined by his work on over 40 television programs, seven miniseries, including Jackie Collins' Hollywood Wives and James Michener's Texas, and more than three dozen telefilms. His outstanding achievements were honored with two Emmy wins for his executive production duties in Day One, a film about the Manhattan Project, and And the Band Played On, a documentary about the AIDS epidemic. Edward Ventimiglia was born in Jersey City, New Jersey, and his upbringing was inspired by his father, a World War II aviator. His trajectory led him from graduating from Seton Hall University to flying with the Blue Angels and eventually having a large television presence. His association with Spelling, which began in 1977, resulted in nearly three decades of notable television production until Spelling's passing in 2006. Aside from his television accomplishments, he was also a novelist, writing works such as Mafia Summer and The Camelot Conspiracy. As the television and literary worlds grieve the loss of E. Duke Vincent, accolades stream in, commemorating his huge contribution to entertainment. His passion for narrative, ability to engage audiences, and contributions to television's lasting legacy will be remembered. Tributes to E. Duke Vincent. Number 5. Ole Anderson, a wrestling great and original member of the Four Horsemen, passed away at the age of 81. While the cause of his passing was not revealed, his impact as a significant player in professional wrestling is indisputable. Anderson, real name Alan Rogowski, began wrestling in the 1960s, but it wasn't until the 1980s that he fully established himself in the sport. Ole, together with Ric Flair, Arn Anderson and Tully Blanchard, helped form the Four Horsemen, which went on to become one of wrestling's most iconic heel stables, known for their spectacular matches across many promotions. The WWE recalled him as a prolific and decorated tag team wrestler, noted for his hard-nosed style and gruff demeanor, and expressed sympathy to his family, friends, and fans. Ric Flair paid Ole a sincere homage, acknowledging his vital role in launching his career and expressing lifelong thanks despite their occasional conflicts. His contributions extended beyond the ring as he also worked as a manager, promoter and executive in the wrestling industry. All of Elite Wrestling mourned, recognizing his legendary stature and sending condolences to his loved ones. His influence on professional wrestling, mentorship of fellow wrestlers, and unforgettable persona have produced a lasting legacy that will inspire future generations. Tributes to Ole Anderson. Number 4. Thomas Kingston, who passed away at the age of 45 leaves behind a profound legacy marked by love, friendship, and professional achievements. His relatives described him as an exceptional man, and he brightened the lives of everyone he knew. His unexpected departure has greatly affected his family, friends, and those in the royal circle, resulting in an outpouring of grief and condolences. His life was filled with connections to high society and the British royal family. 
his marriage to Lady Gabriella, the daughter of Prince and Princess Michael of Kent, was a highlight, marked by a lavish wedding attended by prominent members of the royal family. Aside from his personal life, his professional accomplishments as a British financier garnered him recognition and adoration. His friendship with Pippa Middleton, Kate Middleton's sister, even after their romantic connection ended speaks much about his character. His ability to retain tight relationships with people from his past, including attending important occasions together, demonstrated his kind and inclusive demeanor. Kingston's passing had an impact not only on his immediate family but also on the larger community including the royal family. King Charles and Queen Camilla, as well as Prince and Princess Michael of Kent, have expressed their deep sadness and condolences to Lady Gabriella and the Kingston family. This collective grief highlights the tremendous empty space left by his passing. Tributes to Thomas Kingston Number 3. Wendy Mitchell, who passed away at the age of 68, was a symbol of hope and fortitude in the fight against dementia. She championed the cause of living happily with dementia, inspiring numerous people with her message that dementia has a beginning, a middle, and an end, with plenty of life to be had in each stage. She was an outspoken supporter of the freedom to choose one's own death, relentlessly advocating for assisted dying laws in Britain. Her literary efforts, which included three bestsellers, helped her gain global fame and accolades, including honorary doctorates and the British Empire Medal. Her journey began with a personal battle against young-onset vascular dementia and Alzheimer's disease, which led her to become a prolific writer and a beacon of hope for those on similar pathways. Her daily blog and best-selling books provided practical advice and genuine insights into living with dementia, turning obstacles into opportunities for advocacy and education. Her work went beyond writing to include active participation in academic and medical research, and her unique coping skills provided practical solutions to those affected by dementia. Her courageous approach to life, even when dementia made it more difficult, was illustrated by her adventurous spirit, which included skydiving and swimming in Derwent water. Her decision to die on her own terms was a final act of autonomy, demonstrating her deep conviction in the dignity of choice. Her legacy serves as a poignant reminder of the human spirit's tenacity and the significance of standing up for one's rights and dignity. Wendy Mitchell has received numerous tributes, all of which underline her amazing effect. Julianne Moore in her BAFTA award speech and numerous others praised her contributions to understanding and living with dementia. Wendy's life exemplified the power of activism, resilience, and the human ability to find hope in adversity. Tributes to Wendy Mitchell. Number 2. Jacob Rothschild, a notable financier and philanthropist from the renowned Rothschild banking line, passed away at the age of 87. His resignation marks the end of an era for a family known for generosity, finance, and support for the arts and culture. In 1963, he began his career with the family bank, N.M. Rothschild & Sons, and went on to cement his legacy by developing enterprises and charity organizations that had a significant impact on finance, art, and environmental protection. His life exemplified his commitment to public service and charity causes, especially in Israel and Jewish culture. His family described him as a towering presence and a passionate supporter of different humanitarian projects, demonstrating his steadfast devotion to improve the world around him. His leadership activities extended beyond finance to the cultural realm as he chaired the National Gallery's Board of Trustees and the National Lottery Heritage Fund. His philanthropic endeavors were highly acknowledged, with millions donated to Jewish causes, education, and the arts. Former British Prime Minister Tony Blair recognized Rothschild as a towering figure in Britain's Jewish community, recognizing his contributions to Middle East peace efforts. His influence was far-reaching, leaving a lasting effect on the various industries and people he touched. His legacy will be remembered for his financial acumen and philanthropic achievements, as well as his commitment to family, culture, and societal improvement. As the tributes pour in, his vision and principles will definitely inspire future generations. 
tributes to Jacob Rothschild. Today's top headlines. News 1, Joel Osteen's Lakewood Church in Houston, on February 11, 2024, gunfire disrupted peace as 36-year-old Janessi Yvonne Moreno unleashed chaos, leading to her death and critically injuring her 7-year-old son. The released police footage revealed the tense moments and Moreno's alarming claim of possessing a bomb. The community is now rallying around the young boy, who, after multiple surgeries, remains in a critical fight for life. This tragic event has shaken the city, sparking an outpouring of support for the victim and a re-evaluation of safety in places of worship. News 2 In Athens, Georgia, Latino groups and the University of Georgia community respond to the tragic loss of student Lachin Riley, urging against anti-immigrant rhetoric following the suspect's identification. The Latino Community Fund Georgia emphasizes unity and safety, rejecting stereotypes. The campus stands in solidarity, advocating for understanding and honoring Riley's memory, highlighting the importance of inclusivity during this challenging time. News 3 the Supreme Court is poised to decide a crucial case on social media and free speech, focusing on whether states can dictate how platforms like Facebook and YouTube moderate content. At the heart of the debate is whether these platforms operate more like newspapers with editorial discretion or as neutral utilities like phone services. The outcome could significantly impact digital expression and the future of content moderation online. News 4 Two Americans, Kathy Brandel and Ralph Hendry, vanished from their yacht in Grenada, leaving behind a scene of a struggle. The retirees, passionate about sailing, are feared lost at sea. Authorities in St. Vincent and the Grenadines, where the yacht was discovered, presume the couple met a tragic end after their vessel was hijacked by escaped prisoners on February 19th. The police continue their investigation, holding on to hope while acknowledging the grim reality. This incident has sent shockwaves through the sailing community, highlighting both the perils and the unbreakable spirit of adventure. News 5. Kate Middleton, the beloved Princess of Wales, is reported to be doing well following her abdominal surgery six weeks ago. This positive news comes at a time of heightened speculation about her health, especially since the princess has maintained a low public profile since the Christmas holidays. The update was shared by a palace aide after Prince William unexpectedly withdrew from a scheduled appearance at a memorial service, stirring curiosity among royal followers. The palace, traditionally tight-lipped about personal matters, had previously announced Middleton's surgery in a rare move, emphasizing her wish for privacy during her recovery. With the princess expected to resume public engagements by Easter, this latest statement offers a glimpse of hope and reassurance to fans worldwide. News 6. Gary Sinise shared the devastating news of his son, McKenna Anthony Max Sinise's passing at the tender age of 33, after a courageous battle with a rare form of cancer known as Chordoma. The Sinise family's journey through this challenging time has touched hearts, with Max's indomitable spirit shining through despite the adversities he faced. A talented drummer and an integral part of the Gary Sinise Foundation, Max's contributions to music and the community were significant, leaving a lasting legacy. His final project, an album titled Resurrection and Revival, symbolizes his resilience and passion for life, offering solace to his family and inspiration to others facing similar struggles. The Sinise family, united in their grief, celebrates Max's life and contributions, ensuring his memory and music live on. Gary's message of empathy for families experiencing loss resonates deeply, reminding us of the power of community and support in the face of unimaginable sorrow. Number one, Violet Li Ying, a beacon of talent who passed away at the age of 70 in Vancouver, created a legacy of outstanding performances across continents. Her star shone brightest in the 1994 hit Class of Distinction, 
cementing her place as an icon in Hong Kong's thriving cinema culture from the 1970s. Her abrupt departure, following an apparently minor fall, has left a vacuum in the hearts of those who knew her and loved her work from a distance. Her passion for acting was clear throughout her career, from her early days in Hong Kong to her comeback to the cinema in 2003 after a brief absence. Her experiences in Canada, following her marriage to businessman Shen Haijian and subsequent divorce, demonstrated her tenacity and dedication to her profession. Her death has generated discussions on health awareness among the elderly, emphasizing the significance of prompt medical treatment. Tributes from all around the world have flooded in, honoring Lee not only for her film successes but also for her role as a caring mother. Her elder daughter, Winnie Shum, mirrors some of Lee's legacy by briefly pursuing an acting career. Friends like Angie Chong have expressed shock and sorrow, emphasizing the deep personal relationships she had formed. Her life, marked by dramatic highs and lows, unshakable dedication to her craft, and colorful energy, has left an unforgettable impression on the entertainment business and those who knew her. We find comfort in recalling her delight and the beauty she added to the world. Tributes to Violet Lee